on the yes, I am the savage. I got a mad after the bag. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dante's Analysis and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, I, the picture looks a whole lot better than my previous phone because right now I got a new phone. I upgraded to the iPhone 11, so the picture looks much, much better than my old phone. So it's actually good I'm able to upgrade the quality. But for today's video, I'm actually going to be reviewing J. Cole's most anticipated project of this year called The Off Season. And this album came out May 14, 2021. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows who J. Cole is. He's like a very popular rapper. People really do consider him one of the GOATs when it comes to hip hop. And for his like lyrical ability, his way he produces his music, and also how he just overall impacts the culture and how he delivers on his projects. And I'm actually very excited to review this project because this project has been in the chamber for such a very long time and i'm actually excited to review it so this album contains 12 tracks and yeah the 12 songs on here is track one 95 south two mari yeah three my life with 217 and moray four applying pressure five punching in the clock six 100 mile by of course by J. Cole featuring Boss, 7 Pride is the Devil featuring Little Baby, 8 Let Go of My Hand featuring Boss and Black, uh, track 9 Interlude, 10 Climb Back, 11 Close, and 12 Hunger on Hillside featuring Boss. So actually when it comes to this project, this project was actually very solid like this project was actually solid from beginning to end i know when it comes to more of the first half of the song uh, track of the album it was more of like hype songs than the middle it still had more of the hype songs but kind of slowed down a little bit and when you go towards the end that's when it started to uh come to a close and i did like that very much and like on this project man j cole he definitely like killed it because you know j cole because when anytime like when he puts out a project he goes ghost ghosts for a few years and out of nowhere he would just drop like little subliminals on social media hinting at a new project then out of nowhere he would just announce his project the following week or the following two weeks and people are just like ecstatic because that's what j cole does man he just announces projects out of nowhere and the fans respond very well to it and I feel like that's how any artist should be like anytime you just drop something out of nowhere your fans just automatically get excited and I do like that very much. So getting to the actual project, this project was actually good, like very very good. I would say moments leading up to the project, I know J. Cole he released a documentary a week before. It was like a short like 12 minute documentary explaining like him being comfortable throughout the years of being absent from the hip hop community and how he's starting to like settle down now. He didn't really have like the hunger that he used to have when he started coming up into the hip hop scene. So with this project, he just, he just letting the people know that, hey, I still got it. Just because I haven't been rapping or, or I haven't put out anything for a couple of years doesn't mean I still got it. So it's actually very good that J. Cole actually was able to put out something this year just to show critics that he could still do this thing. And yeah, and like I remember the documentary he talked about being comfortable too much. He he was being complacent, started feeling lazy, he didn't really have like any inspiration to do music, but he started to like challenge himself and start doing these like different drills by like writing songs like every day or like a verse every day, producing a beat and just making that into like a routine so he can get in the habit of doing it nonstop. And, and yeah, so that was actually very cool that he accumulated that in his routine when it comes to creating music and the creative process. 
And the one thing I'll definitely say about this product, this product is definitely solid because it has 12 tracks. You already know when, when J. Cole comes with the lyrical content, you just, you literally have to like sit and listen to what this man has to say because if you just zone out for one minute, you you miss like a couple bars, they just fly right over your head. And I really do like that. Jago, he definitely came with some clever bars on this project. I remember, on I think it was on the first track, he said like, what was it? Um, the M on your head, your Luigi's brother now, reference to Mario. That was actually a very cool slick line that he did. I don't remember the other lines that he did, but he had like a very, like very clever punch lines and cadences and deliveries. Also, yeah, that's also another thing. J. Cole like changes up his styles and flows. So sometimes he could sort of go to that old school flow, but then he could go into this generation's flow. And it actually sounds, both of them sound dope. And he could also, it's actually good to see that an artist adapt to the styles of today's rap. So I do like that J. Cole experiments with different sounds and just doesn't stick to one's uh, core sound. And yeah, the features on here, they're, they're very down to a minimum, not too many features on this project because for past couple projects, J. Cole hasn't really, he's, he's basically known as that artist that doesn't really collab with a whole lot of people because with, um, I think it was Forest Hills Drive's album and the other album that came out of that, he had zero features. I think also KOD too, he had like zero features and all those albums got like multi-platinum records. So it, it does show, the, show you like the testament of J. Cole, like the presence of J. Cole and when he releases projects, like it will, it will win rewards nonetheless if he has features or not. So it's actually cool to see that. And what else I have to say, the production on here is very solid. And the writing, I also said that the writing is very clever. And what else do I have to say about this project? I'll, because I know with the off season, I know J. Cole's referencing that he only, he's gonna put out one more project. I think his last and final project is called, okay, this is called the off season. So I'm guessing the next project is called the fall off, I believe. I think that's like his last project, like the title of his last project. That's and after that, he's gonna retire. And it kind of sucks that J. Cole is gonna like retire soon after his last project. But I mean, dude has been doing it for a minute now. So and plus, he I think he has a kid now. So he's he has to like start settling down and start taking more taking care of more responsibilities on the house. So yeah, man, like this project is actually a very good time that he released this project because I know a lot of people have been saying that like the big hitters are gonna release this year. Cole dropped and people expecting Kendrick to drop this year and also Drake. Drake is definitely dropping this year. And Kendrick, there have been rumors that Kend Kendrick might drop this year, but we don't know. I think I think like with those artists, they're just waiting waiting on each other to see like who's gonna release first, so they can start like planning their schedules ahead, of, like from there on. So yeah, man, it's all about like competition, also having fun with it too. So everyone's just being so strategic with their um, album release dates. So yeah, man, um, this year is gonna be great with music and with J. Cole releasing his project, this project was definitely something that we all waited for. And yeah, man, uh, I'll definitely say like, this is a very like solid project for J. Cole. Now, will I say this is his best work to date? Uh, probably not. I'll definitely say more of his other past albums. Of course, definitely. People will say that Forest Hills Drive is like a classic, and I do agree with that too. Agree with that too. That his that album is undeniably a classic by him. I think another album I did was Born Sinner. I haven't heard it, but I've heard very good reviews from it. So 
Willis and also with the rollout of this album compared to KOD, I kind of felt like KOD had much more of a bigger impact when it comes to the hype towards that album. But even with this album, there was still hype, but I felt like KOD had much bigger hypes than the, the off season. Maybe because KOD was released during pre-COVID and this album was released during COVID, maybe the hype differences just outweigh each other so i could definitely see why i mean that's how i feel about it but i don't know about you guys but that's how i feel and yeah man like i'm very pleasantly and happy about this project and i do like it from beginning to end and yeah man that's really all i gotta say about this project so the rating I'm gonna give this album, I'm definitely gonna give it like, I'll give it like a good nine out of 10. Probably like a solid nine out of 10. Again, the writing is very clever. The production's on point. What else? The, the rollout was pretty good because he came out with a documentary. He also did a freestyle on LA Leakers, which that, if you guys haven't seen that, please go watch it that freestyle is insane that man this dude dropped like so many bars on there like you guys have to watch it and yeah man like all that and some of the songs on here were good too and also the features on here like the track listens was was cut to a t12 with minimal features which is good and yeah man like i like that very much and again it kind of sucks to see that this is J. Cole's second to last project, and we don't know when the, his last project's gonna come. Maybe end of this year or next year, we don't know. I think he's currently still working on the project, so if not, probably next year. So yeah, man, that's that's really all I gotta say about this project, man. Um, Yeah, like J. Cole, he really did this thing on his project, and I'm really happy that he released this in a uh, time that we're in now when we're still in the pandemic and everything's slowly starting to reopen back up so hopefully when things are reopening back up people hopefully artists can go on tour now um yeah on tours now and start um, doing shows so i'm very if j cole does decide to open or do a tour or something i'm definitely down to go and i'll be very excited to see him live if if he does do a tour when everything reopens back up, but we don't know. So yeah, man, that's really all I have to say about this project. So the rating I'm gonna give J. Cole's The Off Season is a nine out of 10. And thank you guys for watching this video and I'll catch you guys later.